Um, everyone, on that last piece of film um, you saw me going through the scrapbook, I forgot to show you the cover um, of the poster, and it's this one, which is really, really rare, and it's almost in perfect condition. It's from um, Disc Magazine Portrait Gallery Series. Um, it was from 1972. I can't remember the month offhand without taking the poster out, and I'm not going to do that. But I think Ziggy had been out, so I reckon it's from about June 72, even though they used a pre-Ziggy photo. Because I remember people saying, oh, hang on, has Bowie gone backwards and got rid of his orange hair and now gone all hippie again? But they just used an old picture of him to produce into a poster. So I just thought you might like to see that one. Because, um, as I said, it is specifically very rare. Um, I got two Melody Makers out of my loft as well. This first one here with Alice Cooper on the front. Um, this is from July the 8th, 72. Um, and I didn't get it out to show you Alice. I uh, just got it out to show you that. Which is, thanks to all our people for making Ziggy. I love you, Bowie. Nice advert. He used to do quite a few of these, actually, thanking fans. Or his management company did. So that's that one. I thought you might like to see. And the other one here with Jethro Tull on the front, and this is April the 22nd, 1972. And that one is David Bowie's latest album, Hunky Dory, is now high in the US charts. And he just released Starman at this point, um, the single, and obviously you know what happened after that. So I just thought you might like to see that one. Okay. So... We'll just move on. What I thought you might like to see, somebody have asked, some people have asked me to go through some of the covers um, featuring Bowie from the 70s. Um, so what I've done, I've got here uh, NME and some record mirrors and some discs. So it's Record Mirror magazine, disc magazine and some NME, New Musical Expresses. I haven't included, there might be some sounds in there as well, no Melody Maker because they're much bigger, I'll do those another day. So this one was quite an early one from 1969, October the 11th, with Bowie looking pretty good in his red trousers there. Um, nice picture of him there, and this is all about the space oddity, needless to say, and they did an interview with him as well. Um, this one is well, a typical Bowie headline there from July 1972, and it's just about his gigs. And about Ziggy Stardust going to number seven in the chart. And new entry into the chart of the Starman single. This is when he really started making it big after he'd been on top of the pot. Um, and booked for a major appearance at London's Rainbow Theatre on August the 19th. Which he did add a second date to that as well actually later. Um, David Bowie new tour there. I hope you can see these through the polythene. Um, and this is just about a tour that he's going to do of the UK. This was the Ziggy tour, the first one. This is August 1972. And this is Sounds. Now, Record Mirror I really liked because they, they have more coloured pictures. It was a bit more appealing to me at that point, And I really loved this picture of him. Um, and this again is 1973, January the 13th, 73. And there's an article inside as well. But that one's a particular favourite of mine, that one. Moving again to disc, January the 20th, 73. Um, he was in virtually every music paper every week and quite often on the cover. So you can imagine how much I spent on all this stuff because this is all from the time. I bought these all at the time. Um, and goodness knows how much money I spent on it. And then we've got Bowie coming here as well. 1973, talking about new material and also about the case for David Bowie and basically why we should all love him. It's not a great cover, but it's still Bowie, so I have to buy it. Um, then we've got him again here, uh, Bowie album exclusive, which uh, is a lad insane, and it gives a review of the album. Got very patchy reviews of lad insane, actually. Some were, some were great, some were really awful, but personally I love it, but there we are. And what went wrong? So he did a concert at Earl's Court, which was a disaster for the sound, and it was very badly organised, and um, yeah, a bit of a disaster. It was the first, he was the first pop star, really, to appear at Earl's Court, 
and I don't think it was it, it wasn't an ideal venue for it um, <clears throat> and it wasn't great and he got a lot of bad press about it particularly about the sound there were even fights at the gig as well so the question what went wrong and then sort of looks quite uh, quite like a lord there doesn't he inside the court of Aladdin And that one is May the 1973. And on the back of that um, is the advert for Aladdin saying the tour with all the dates there listed. And I suppose the biggie for me is this next one, which is Bowie quits. So this is where he quit being Ziggy Stardust. That's it. Page three, there's a report there as well about him actually stopping uh, touring as Aladdin saying bye bye we love you quite rare that one and that one is July the 7th 73 and then over here we've got a Bowie exclusive here and apparently he's hard, work in uh, hard at work in France on a new album which of course was Pin Ups uh, disc again with a nice colour one there and a poster and a history of Bowie and that's August 11th 73 I don't think that's an amazing photo of him having said that and then we go on to February 74 David caps a good year in the readers poll and actually he's, he's swept the board in 1973 readers poll uh, he just got won everything in 73 it was his year definitely uh, record I really like this and they, they were struggling for stories as I was thought at some points with him so as soon as he put the eye patch on he gets a front page on record mirror why the patch and when you read inside the article it doesn't really tell you why the patch one of my favorite covers is the next one which is Diamond Dogs and there's a great review of the new album inside there um, and as I've said, it is my favourite album by, by David Bowie. And I love that cover as well. And that one is May the 11th, 1974, that one. And you can see actually here, I don't think there's any genitals on that. Okay. Colour photo. So it's quite amazing really that he goes from that to that in really not much time at all. Didn't look very well on that one. Um, so Record Mirror, or Record Pop Swap Mirror, as it changed its name to. And that's November the 9th, 74, that one. Great blue suit there. And you could win Bowie's new live album, which is David Live, of course. And the next one is November 16th, 74. And this is a review of the Diamond Dogs tour front page for him and November the 16th 1974 in NME Aladdin fatigues and it's about <clears throat> really Bowie being exhausted coming to the end of the um, Diamond Dogs tour which got patchy reviews which of course we would all have loved to have seen continuing on to March the 8th 1975 and this, this is actually um, Angie Bowie in here. It's an article by Angie rather than David Bowie himself. And as we move into the Young Americans era, the sounds. And that's June the 14th, 75. Quite a nice cover there with the American flag in the background. August 75, he gets another cover on NME. And the article goes with it. Um, this enemy over here from March the 7th, 76 was a fairly obvious headline, Bowie's back, but it did have a photo of his back as well. That's quite an iconic cover, that one, and quite rare. So we'll call it a day there, and thank you very much, and we'll continue with some more of these at a later date.